But utility leaders say they aren't too worried about the power grid this year, but more so power lines throughout the state. Six News anchor Bailey Bates joins us now live in studio with more. And if there should be a power panic, we got to remain calm here, huh, Bailey? We sure do, Chris and Lindsay. Taking a look at the current Encore power outage map right behind me, there are some areas with some outages. We noticed some earlier down in the clean area, but they're mainly up here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. But as you just saw, that's there's a lot more precipitation going on up there, but the spotty areas, the spotty outages, that's what utility leaders are expecting. But the problem is, is they're expecting that it could be maybe worse. It can be uh, a serious problem for maintain, maintaining electrical powers. Across the Lone Star State, utility leaders are preparing for what this week's winter storm has in store. With dangerous ice accumulations expected, state's energy providers are on standby. We've prepositioned uh, staff members, line crews, uh, and equipment such as trucks and poles and transformers in advance of the storm uh, just to provide the necessary support or restoration work. Andy Morgan, a spokesperson for Encore, says they're most worried about power lines. When you get ice or freezing rain building up on trees and tree branches as well as power lines, um, that can impact service and cause outages. Public Utility Commission of Texas Chairman Peter Lake agrees that's where the focus should be, as he expects the power grid to meet demand for power. The, the grid is more reliable now than it's ever been. Uh, we've put in multiple reforms over the last 18 months, and we've seen the results. We got through a record-breaking summer. We got through last winter. We, we've had... Uh, uh, the grid endures se se severe tests. Lake says the PUC is working hand in hand with providers like Encore and other state agencies to make sure Texans stay safe, stay warm, and not in the dark. This is a whole new level of coordination between state agencies that wasn't in place before, and it, it's, it works. As we have yet to face the brunt of this storm, utility leaders are asking people to report any outages as soon as possible and avoid any down power lines as they can pose a major threat to anyone around them or near them, guys.